folks in the previous uh, English video, I mentioned that truth is eternally unknown. There are three aspects to this that I want to discuss today. Number one is, if the truth is eternally unknown, who cares? What's the use? Why should don't bother about it? It's a no, unknown, eternally unknown. Let it be. You may think that it's totally useless for me because it cannot be known. So I want to answer that first. Before I do that, just let me tell you a couple of facts. One is that when you are experiencing this world, as I have been saying for quite some time, the instrument that you are using is your mind and your five senses. And this is relative experience. What you are seeing is relative to the instrument that you have through which you are experiencing this. It's a relative truth. If you lose your instrument, for example, when you die, or let's say you are blind from birth, your, you know, your experience will be different. Your universe will be different from others. So, this is what you experience in this normal world. And I also have been telling that in the next level, when the seventh chakra is opened, then there is a different kind of instrument that, that I, that I-ness inside you will experience. And that, uh, th those are the three eyes, uh, E, Y, E. One is this white eye. It's again symbolic. It's a white eye without any, um, without any pupils in people inside, not in the center. And the right one is similarly. The red one without nothing anything in the center it's just pure red one and there is one somewhere somewhere here but it is not attached to this body it is it is it is it is with respect to the body that you will have in the in the kingdom of god or when you have the three eyes Using these three eyes, which is your instrument, you will experience the three divine lights. And that is your body. That's what you will be aware of. Just like you are aware of uh, this world, at that level, that I, that I am, will experience those three divine lights as its body, as its world. Again, there is an instrument, remember that. Then when that instrument is destroyed, there is absolutely nothing. There is no instrument at all. There will be total darkness and the darkness is you. And uh, it's better to say that you don't have any, you cannot really describe that because uh, there is no instrument through which you are uh, witnessing the world and there is since you don't have any instrument you cannot describe to describe you need to have the words and then there are the, the that's the that's the, that is gone the one which is the word which has created the three eyes gone so it's not there there is absolutely no instrument And that is the eternal truth. It will be the, it, it is, but you cannot even say it is, because uh, the words that I'm using to describe to you is not there. That instrument is not there. 
So it's um, indescribable or undescribable. That is the eternal truth. And you are that. That's a very important thing. There is an important saying in the Hindu scripture. It says, Tadvamasi. That means you are that. That's the English version. You are that. That, that. that is undefined, indescribable. Similar expression is there in Shaiva, Hindu Shaiva tradition also or Shiva tradition also. So that is the truth and that truth is unknown because there is no instrument to know that. And uh, <clears throat> there is nobody else. And nobody else, since there is nobody else but you at that level, Others will not, there is nothing to be known by others. There is only one, and that's you. And that's forever unknown, because you can never know about you, because there is no instrument. Okay. Now, what's the use of this? Because it is this the basis for the creation at the second level. That is, when the word separates from you and then creates the three eyes, the instrument, the, the three divine lights are born. And that is, and that those three divine lights, I, I, I have um, described very clearly how those three, using those three divine lights, that you, the eternal unknown will create this universe that you are experiencing right now with multiple eyes and so on. So it is useful. It is the basis for creation. And it is that's the one which exists after the destruction of the whole creation. So it is without that there is no creation at all. So in that sense, it's extremely useful. Okay, now, the second aspect that I want to discuss today regarding this eternal unknown, which is the truth, and you are the truth, is this, let's start where you are. You are here, in this world and there are multiple people multiple in entities like you human beings and there are uh, animals blah 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 all those things to reach the second stage where you don't have this instrument of five senses and the mind but you have a different instrument to reach that state You cannot do it. You, as you are in this consciousness, with the five senses and uh, your mind, cannot go after it because it does not know it. It has totally forgotten. It has got so mesmerized by what it sees using the five senses and, <coughs> and the mind so it has it has forgotten it has no idea in its uh, in in its instrument or in its mind or in itself all that it has is what others have told what your parents and parents 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 told you and what you have read from various books religious books, non-religious books, scientific books, etc., etc. That's what you have in your mind. And however much you try, you cannot go beyond that. You can have your third eye vision, but it is still it's the vision at the mind level. You cannot go beyond that. 
to the what needs to happen is this is important you need to surrender all that you know about the second universe and also what you have here surrendering me doesn't mean that you go to a, a, a god god's form or you think about a god's form and pray and then you surrender no you have to remove all your ignorances all your non truths that you have in your mind which you have accumulated by living in this in this uh, five sense plus mind universe all that your ancestors have told all those are are non truths because the only truth is when you are without any instrument this has to be all the truths that you have you have right now what you think as truth it's only a relative truth that's what you have to realize that's not you it just a cover around you you are separate from that you are totally different from that and that has to be understood and that has to be lived and you will live if you live if you live in a state where all the non truths all relative truths have been understood and you realize that it's not really part of you it's only temporary as long as you have this five senses plus mind then there is an energy from the second level of universe what some people call kingdom of god the world of lights three lights that energy will destroy totally either temporarily are totally if it is totally destroyed forever then you will not be alive in this world if it is temporarily erase all those things then you will live in this world but with a totally a different perception for example you will realize that everything that is in this in the universe that you are seeing is your body and every body that you are seeing both the forms the energy forms that have the feeling of i and also the things which don't have the feeling of i everything is you this is your body what we will call the akashic record are the experience of everything that happened all life experiences in the past it is there in a in a mind it's not the agashika record that you can think of it is it is the the mind level vibration which has everything that has happened in the past to ev- uh, to everything that's your mind and you will know clearly what is the basis for all this in this this ex- world that you are experiencing through your five senses and the mind how the three divine uh, how what is the role of those three divine lights in this universe that you are experiencing but from there from the second level of existence where there is no multiplicity there is only one i only i one i am to reach the next stage the eternal truth the eternally unknown truth that's you the energy there has to be an, the, the energy beyond the second universe with the three divine lights of the three eyes that has to test come down and you cannot go after it. that one has to destroy 
those those uh, universe second universe uh, the world of lights or kingdom of god and that will make you to be without any instrument for example you try it in this world to be without to exist without instrument try that whatever meditation you do whatever kriya yoga you do whatever guru that you are go, go you will go and get diksha or whatever whatever pastor whatever bible or your puranas in hindu scriptures or quran whatever read meditate whether you will be able to experience the taste state that you you are but you don't have an instrument Samadhi is not this, what they call in Hindu way of life, Hindu scriptures. A samadhi is not that. In samadhi, you are dumb. There is not, no I to experience that. That's not the eternal truth. All that happens is the, all the, the, the mind, mental level existence, all the thoughts in this world come to cease. come to uh, come to a stop but that is not the eternal truth for that to, to even go to the second level you have your your seventh chakra has to be opened if you keep thinking that that it's a world of gods and you start worshiping you will never ever experience the second universe that that instrument the three eyed instrument it has to happen it has to always from one level to go to the other level there is the energy at a higher level has to destroy the lower level and then install you in the say on the in the second level from or from the second level to third level where there is no instrument the critical point is that how much you do yogas how much you pray how much your guru blesses you nothing will happen you have to surrender everything that's what some people say you have to you have to be an empty vessel so that it can be filled by the by the higher level energy if you are if your glass is full your mind is full and you feel hang on to that forever so strongly thinking that that is the truth the ultimate truth and then if uh, you believe that you can go up by doing whatever you want to you will never reach that state this is this is a it is a major major ignorance for all the almost everybody who has not experienced the final one the final truth the eternally unknown truth that's the second aspect i want to talk to you the third aspect that i want to clearly mention this in this video is that having experienced the final one the eternally unknown state you may ask how can you say that as the final one that's a different topic having experienced it what you are seeing this universe is my body that i am is my body whatever you do including to the nature whatever fight you are you are uh, fights you have with you with the other people and also with the nature with the other uh, with the other living beings non living beings etc hurts my body hurts me only the unconditional love will can cure that 
But if you are not ready to even hear what is unconditional love, if you if you are not ready to understand what you are experiencing is conditional love. It's it uh, the mind puts all the conditions on the eternal or not the eternal as far as this universe is concerned the eternal because in the in the in the, the, the second level universe it is there but in third level universe which is the eternal truth that golden light which is the basis for the unconditional love is not there it's gone it will be destroyed now. Just like you like to clean your body in this universe by taking shower, otherwise it will get a disease, it will hurt you. I would like to clean up my body, which is this universe, which is the ever-expanding universe. Nobody can see the end of it. Scientists may say that they have found the edge of the universe. I'll talk about that in another video. That's not the end. It's a topic for a different day. I will clean up this. I will destroy. Whether you, <laughs> whether you, I have no, I have, uh, I'm not as a human being. I will not do anything except stating the truth through this kind of videos and talking to people. But there is this energy, the red light, what people call, some culture calls Arunachala or Shiva. Christians call that as, I don't know what they call it, it's a, it's a father they call, the one of the three. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I don't know which one, which light you call, they call human Holy Spirit. I don't know. But one of the three persons. Because in the Bible, they can think only as persons, human being. It's not a person there. It's a form of energy. Even the light, it appears as light, only the, the three eyes. It's actually a form of energy. That's the right way to put it. Even the eternally unknown one is a form of energy which has no instrument. So ultimately everything is energy with the different instruments to view. And they, they, they exist in the world created by the, by the instrument that they have. So you may call us a tyrant as one of the one of the viewers uh, mentioned to clean up my body. If you have dirt in your in your body, the body that you are experiencing in this world and if you want to remove it and if you are removing it, some people may say, how tyrant you are to remove the dirt. In the same way, you, are, you probably will say, who are you to destroy this world, to bring the world, to kill, not to destroy, that the total destruction will not take place now, but to clean up by destroying the ignorances in the human mind and also whoever is obstructing that they will be uh, they, they will they, they will be made to fight with each other as they are doing it in the world right now if you watch the result of this climate control meeting among the nations that happened recently cop 26 or whatever you can see how many different viewpoints are there even in the in United States, where there is supposed to be very advanced generation of people is supposed to be existing, 
they are fighting. The, and one group is saying that you should, you should, it, I should make the uh, COVID-19 injection as mandate. Another, another person, another group says, you cannot force it on to me. It's my right. To, I, if I want, I will do that. If I don't want, I will not do it. Even if it's going to hurt another person. See yeah, how many, how much fight is going on. Fight and destroy each other and also the nature. The nature in turn will destroy you. That's the kind of cleanup that will happen. <laughs> so I'm not a tyrant. I'm cleaning up my body. I'll use my videos to communicate to you all the things that I've been talking. If the ignorance is in your mind, continue to persist. I have to clean it up. Clean it up. If you are not ready to clean, you need to go. And that's not a bad thing. Death is, I mean, as I've been saying, death is, you may think that it's very, very a difficult thing. Death is just another spiritual experience. All that happens is your, your, your five, in, five senses and your mind is destroyed. And then you get, you come to know that you, who you really are in the, in the second world of uh, second universe, which is the world of three divine lights. Some people call us a kingdom of God. It's not bad. It's just will you will go there. That's all. You'll be you'll be there. Not as an individual human being. That's one I am. You lose the multiplicity that you are aware of in this world. Only in this in this universe, which with the five senses and for the mind, there is multiplicity. There is only one. It becomes as the three divine lights, but there is only one eye. It's not bad. It's better, a better experience than this that you are experiencing in this world. What is interesting is, but if you want, while you are living in this world, you want to experience this joy, peace, which is beyond the human mind, the human mind can only think in, think in opposites. What it knows as happiness is not really happiness. It's just the opposite of happiness. Oppo sorry, opposite of the sadness, unhappiness. But there is a state, even here, even while you're living in these five senses, you can experience peace, which is beyond the human mind. You can experience it. There's a way to that. That's what I've been teaching. Anyway, that's the third thing I want to discuss, folks. I will clean up. You will experience that. Whatever you call me, I will, I will do I will, I will do it. That will happen. It's just a question of time because it cannot be done if that is done in 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 a fraction of a second or a minute. That that energy is can is capable of doing it in a few minutes. The whole universe will be destroyed. Can be destroyed. That universe, that red jodi has the power to do that. But if it if it does, the very purpose of cleaning up this universe will go away, because you need to be given time to realize. What's happening? Give time to realize what is the eternal, what is the kingdom of God, etc., etc. So that will, but that will eventually happen, folks. That's what I want to discuss. So first, I mentioned clearly what's the use of this being this eternally unknown truth. Second is how to go about realizing that. Third is. 
what is what i will do to clean up this universe talk to you soon